What is up and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey there. And our actual lawyer, Paridge. Good evening. <laughs> uh, folks, if you like this, you can catch it and many more streams on twitch.tv slash save data team, including our upcoming Grinch stream, uh, where Wes himself has been practicing many hours to speedrun the PlayStation 1 Grinch game. It's, uh, it's gonna be absolutely bonkers. One of the most exciting streams. Please show up, please get hyped. It's gonna be nuts. Uh, and if you want to support us, you can do so on patreon.com slash save data team. Uh, just two bucks a month gets you access to the VOD channel of every single stream we do. Five bucks lets you vote on one of our variety streams each month and get your name included as an NPC in our D&D campaign. And at the $10 level and above, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Fluff Guff, Bandicoot Commando, Cole Dave, Ha, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, Shadow, Navi. Miss Meg, Wendy, Jacob, Beth, Tucko, Sensei, Arky, Forensic, Beck, Nicole, and Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Awol, Narwhal, Go, Go, Zeppeli, Shepperstein, Boomer, Emily, Relive, Jolie, The Red Fighter, DJ, Moon, Philo, Sherlock, T Flower, Sill, Art, Ami, Borshock, Dessert Boy, Man, Elijah, Sly, Rick, Rat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Naruka, Yongi, Croissant, Fulfill, A Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. All right, shall we uh, return to court? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Let's get back. Into the game. I forgot that we were just right here. Also, they look like they're hammered. I just realized. Yeah, they're that really blushing. That oh, their, yeah. Their the cheeks blush, yeah. are yeah. really red. Yeah. All right. Let's hear about this illegal entry that they did uh -huh. that definitely didn't result in them doing a murder. Uh huh. I also got the, like, that they have, like, rats. Again, I don't eyes. actually think he did it. I just think that's going to be the first thing we're going to try and prove. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> we was walking down Baker Street in the small hours, and the gaff store was ajar, see? It was like some kind of shine, begging for us to go in, it was. But once we got inside, cool, blimey, lummy, we heard a gunshot from the back room. What was that? <laughs> we went to Poor see what blimey was what, but the door was locked from the inside. Core blimey, I've heard. What I've never was heard lummy what? before. Oh, we was it. never enough. We never done nothing, Governor. We never took nothing. We just left after that, nice and quiet. Scott the was. We have bad news for these guys. They're terminally British. Yeah, yeah. Mm. A be terrible them. coincidence, it would seem. A question only between them and their god. <laughs> 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 Why am I yeah, saying that? Like, that joke is god. definitely cut from the YouTube video. I don't know why I referenced it here. <laughs> 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 At the precise moment those miscreants entered the property, an even more sinister crime was afoot. The witness's testimony is consistent with the crime scene in every detail. Oh, excuse me. The door providing access to the storeroom from the main shop was indeed locked from the inside. And within, only the victim and the accused were found. Hmm. I must say, it does appear to be an overwhelmingly simple case. Still, the defense may cross-examine the witnesses now, of course. A counsel, if you please. Uh, sorry, I gotta poo real yes, bad. I just pooped in my pants. <laughs> counsel? Uh, um, yes. What's the matter, Runa? Uh, sorry, I... I was 
just stunned into silence for, for a minute by the blatant lies being told by their pair in the stand. <laughs> I know that it's all nonsense, but because I saw it with my own eyes. I'm a, I should be on the witness stand. Yeah, I was <laughs> I there. Cross examine me. <laughs> I'll just have to expose their testimony for the pack of lies it is. Very well. Are you are are you not a dirty Nipponese? No. <laughs> I said, I That's not real. Answer. The- yeah, overruled. <laughs> Answer the question. How long has it been <laughs> since you took a shower? <laughs> Well, this is turn of the century Britain, so I don't know. It's probably people, been a minute. People were way less clean here than they actually were in Japan. <laughs> Walking down Baker Street, I saw the door was open. There's like some kind of sign begging us for going in. Scott the was. Amazing over dramatic reaction. So good. Poor blimey lummy. Where to gun shit? Gotcha. Uh. I feel like we start pressing here. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Honestly, we probably need to press their entire thing, but... Hold it! Hold it! A gunshot, you say? Just the one? Are you sure about that? Oh, come on. Oh, we got this. Damn it! Yup, just the one, governor. I can swear to that. It was Nash, it was. Ain't that right, bruv? The firearm used belonged to the victim himself. Yes, Mr. Windebeck always used to leave his gun lying around on the counter. <laughs> Terrible firearm safety. Yeah. Absolutely atrocious firearm safety. Right, I remember. He really should keep it out of reach of himself. <laughs> <laughs> when we examined it, we found the revolver was completely out of rounds. Right. That makes sense. Mr. Windebank always used to say he only ever kept a single bullet loaded. That's true. I remember him saying that as well. So we can say with considerable certainty that only a single round was discharged from the firearm used as the murder weapon. Yes, my lord, we can. And I should remind the court. I am racist. <laughs> In case you've forgotten that the firearm in question was discovered in the hand of the accused. It was unconscious, by the way. But, but like, you know. to be fair, last case we found a book in the victim's hand, and that was like a weird thing that you made a whole deal about, and then I explained it pretty anyway. You made it a whole thing. <sighs> Wonderful. But the door was locked from the inside, which that's true. Um, I'll still press it. Do you mean the door between the main shop and the storeroom? If my learned friend is having difficulty grasping the situation, perhaps a drawing would help. No, I'm clarifying their statement. Yeah, my God. Excluding the shop's entrance from the street, there is only one other door, that of the storeroom. Of course, there was only a little oil lamp burning. Not much to see by. Uh, oh, this is the... And the door was hidden behind a curtain and all. That's right. When we arrived, the door was mostly obscured by the curtain. Tell me, why exactly did you try to open that door? Hey. Any normal petty thief would run at the sound of a gunshot, I should think. Oh, well, um, your turn to rabbit, Ringo. I like this face he's doing. It's good. It's yeah. very Kathy and Jimmy, uh, in, uh, fucking Hocus Pocus, like the. Oh, yeah. Oh, Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> well, Nash, uh, yeah, I suppose. You'd have to say we ain't normal, eh? <laughs> Broadly speaking, humans are res- humans respond in one of two ways on hearing a gunshot or scream. The timid flee, gripped by fear, or the courageous investigate to see if they might help. These two brave gentlemen. Yeah, they deserve an honor. Yep. For trying to rob uh-huh. this shop. 
<laughs> they are the bravest are... men I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen are of the latter inclination. My learned Nipponese friend, it would seem, is of the former. Motherfucker, I'm asking a question. Oh, I guess I was also, there. Also, I did run it down. Yeah, yeah, actually. <sighs> All right. I somehow just proved that I was a coward that night. Thank you, counsel. So, I believe we all understand that the door was locked and could not be opened. And that the Japanese counsel is a little is a sissy coward. wee wee boy. <laughs> Proceed. It's a little sissy wee boy. Do you need your bottle, counsel? <laughs> Do you need your baba? Uh, press the first two statements then. You didn't do or take anything. Is that your story? Well, it was bedlam soon as, weren't it? It was, Nash, it was. Didn't even have time to pull me jukes out me Lucy Lockets. What? Excuse me? I think he's saying he didn't have time to pull, pull his, his fists pockets. out of his pockets. Yeah. I don't think I don't think you can do that in public without getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you showed your hands in public? You harlot. So, with no times to take your hands out of your pockets, you just left, nice and quietly, you say. That's right, Governor. Nothing we ate more than violence. Peace-loving nibblers, we are not bludgeons. Well, it's wild, because there was also another man who was shot in that room. <laughs> we are, Nash, we are. Never even pulled me jukes out me Lucy Lockets. So... Uh, so, you'd clearly like us to believe. I Come again? As you fled from the pawnbrokers that night. Did you not run into anyone else? Um. And did you not fire a gun at that person? Uh, Saints alive, they fired a gun, you say? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Blimey, Yamna! You ain't telling us it was you in the doorway. That's a lot. Just like, Greg, I know that's just Greg since normal sprites. Yeah. But it's so great in this situation because he just looks so bored. 500% done with this shit. He does not want to. He wants to be anywhere but on this stand he with them. He wants to be anywhere <laughs> but in this courtroom right now. Uh, it was. Why the bleeding, Nora? Didn't you mention that before? You were armed with a gun! And as you well, fled the scene- I'm not obligated to tell you that you shot me. <laughs> I'm sorry you couldn't see my face, you idiots. As you fled the scene, you fired that gun at London's greatest detective, Herlock Sholmes. They so. shot the great Mr. Sholmes? I did hear that, actually. There was a rumor he'd been pressed to the hospital. The great show left beyond the pale. On the night in question, this pair were arrested by the police within minutes of the discovery of the crime scene. Their suspicious countenance rapidly gave them away. <laughs> and when searched, a firearm was indeed found in their possession. My guy, can you mention that? It feels, I mean, I get it, like you're trying to pr just like, yeah, purposefully. Yeah. But like, like still, like you're, you're a bad person. Yeah. <gasps> Furthermore, the barrel shows signs of how, of a shot having been fired from it. <laughs> He's like, why? Why, God? <laughs> why am I white? Why with these hands? <laughs> exactly. You keep bringing it up. I know. I know. <laughs> the prosecution invites his lordship to examine the firearm recovered from these. Brothers. Yes, indeed. Remnants of pioneer around the muzzle, and as you say, counsel. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the court will hold this weapon as evidence. Okay. Okay, so also a single round, only a single round. Okay, so yeah, so two shots were fired, one from that gun and one from the other. Oh, but yeah, then. 
how in fact did the gun that Gina has get mm -hmm. in the room? No, oh, it, it, it's the question. It, it, it creates a harder puzzle for us. Yep. Now, my learned Nipponese friend. Yes? Here's to you successfully presenting the evidence. Okay. It's like my job. For yes, there are the telltale signs of spent powder on this gun and a single bullet missing from the cylinder. But the prosecution demands evidence that it was fired at the scene of the crime under scrutiny in this trial. Well, like, we could go find Sholmes and pull the bullet out of him, I suppose, but like... <laughs> Dog, what are you talking about? We don't have ballistic markings in this, in this game. Well, I don't need evidence, because I was there! Objection! However, the rest of us in this courtroom were not. That sucks. <laughs> That's your. That sounds like a you. <laughs> where were all you guys? <laughs> where, where were you guys at the time of the murder? <laughs> Any of you could have done it. You're suspicious. <laughs> oh, suspicious. If the defense fails to provide evidence in support of its rash claim. We shall have no choice but to toast your incompetence. I've beaten you twice, bro. Why are you why are you like this? Yeah. Evidence that these two fired the gun before they left Windebanks that night. Don't don't look at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just here for the free chips. <laughs> the court demands that all claims are affirmed with clear proof. What evidence shows that these witnesses unloaded a firearm in the pawnbroker's shop that night? Oh. oh. Fuck, do we have... <clears throat> well, we haven't looked at the gun yet. So we can That's it. true. Uh... So, this ammunition still loaded in five of this revolver's six cylinders. Oh, wow. Yes, which tell us that only a single shot has been fired from it. Exactly. The bullet that hit Hurley, in fact, isn't it? Yes, it happened to almost... And if you would hand that gun to me, I have a little bit of payback. <laughs> <laughs> for hurting Hurley. Nobody After hurts. this, there will only be three bullets left, <laughs> assuming, my, assuming my aim is as good as it's always been. And only one Skulkin brother. <laughs> Yes, it happened almost as soon as we'd walked in through Windebank's door. Jeez! Whoa, shit, Bridge. <laughs> you called it. I'll make, I'll make those brothers pay. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fucking get him. Uh, I'll make them pay. I'm confused because it's lighting up, but we already did this, right? It might just be a quick thing. Yeah, okay, it's all, it's all the same uh, thing. Yeah. It doesn't do check marks, I guess, in this. Uh, well, maybe not. Is there a piece of a knife stuck in it? Stuck in the, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. <gasps> God damn it! I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> uh, I wish we had a, a picture of the fucking uh, the the calendar, because the calendar had. Oh, just look in the, the blood shot. samples. I was gonna say, can yeah. we use the oh, blood? There oh, yeah, okay. there we go. Yeah. I mean, that's gotta be the fucking bullet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, can we... Because yeah, the other one's in Windebank. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> or maybe the ground, I don't know, I don't know how much of the bullet, I don't know what the piercing power of those bullets is, so maybe it's just outside of Windebank. Okay. I was really worried, like, him starting with the evidence, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, we fucked it up, but no. The evidence is in this portfolio! What? What on earth have you there, Council? Is this a purse? <laughs> no, it's my satchel. During the course of our investigations, we discovered a number of bloodstains. Not trusting the police to do the job they're trained to do. How arrogantly Nipponese of you. This invents. I mean, they, they didn't get this, did, did they? And there was a guy looking directly at it for I, hours. I, I feel like this is uh, this is proof that I should question them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, we analyzed all the blood samples we found and recorded the results in this portfolio. And you claim to have the evidence the court is demanding therein? Yes, my lord. 
No more dallying. I can't present the pertinent evidence at once. That's what I was doing. <laughs> but can I dilly? <laughs> yeah. Dilly, or can I shilly? Or shally? What do you have in your purse that proves these witnesses unloaded a firearm at the scene? Okay, yeah, they, they, they are going to be like, which page is it on? I don't know. <laughs> the one with the bullet. <laughs> is it the one on Winterbeck's body? <laughs> what is that? Explain. It's a photographic print of... Uh, it's a photographic print taken at Winterbank's pawnbrokery on the day of the incident. Wow, full color HD. <laughs> That's impressive. From the scene of the crime, is it? Is, is that a bullet hole? And if my eyes do not deceive me, it appears the bullet is still lodged there. Yes, as your lordship noticed, the bullet pierced Mr. Winderbank's calendar. The date shown being the 16th of April, the very day of the pawnbroker's death. The incident occurred at one hour after midnight, but this indicates that a separate shot had been fired some time after the calendar had been set to the 16th. That's right. And while it isn't irrefutable, the defense believes this is credible evidence th that the witnesses did fire a round from their gun in the pawnbrokers that night. Yeah! He is so fucking short, dude. I know. Order! How does the prosecution stand, Lord Van Zeeks? Don't do it, Van Zeeks. I know you're thinking about it. Don't do it. If that is the direction my learned friend wishes to take, the prosecution has no objection. Okay, uh... Your Lord, I, I would like to take it back. Him not objecting has me a little freaked I'm out little right now. Out, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm falling into a trap. What? No, oh, you did Damn it, Van Zeeks. I told you not to do it. But you'll forgive me for flinging my hallowed chalice aside in disgust at the you repugnancy it's exposing. You know what, Van Zeeks? This time, no, we're not going to forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> the janitors but, are tired of cleaning up all the but, broken glass. But I said I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on the night in question, these brothers entered the pawnbrokery illegally. And like the bold baddies they claim to be, opened fire on the new arrivals before fleeing back onto the street. Okay, yeah, he's gonna say, Hey, you can take it easy there, governor. You're gonna land us in the soup. We had a deal. You, already you weren't gonna, gonna get into hole. them Breaking and entering details. <laughs> <laughs> to him, sulky. Set the bloke straight. I have nothing to add. <laughs> So he knew, did he? So basically he's being like, yeah, they fired the gun. Yeah. And it wasn't used to kill Windebank. So that means Gina did it. Right. That's yeah, a good he's point. Gonna say, he's going to say, you just prove that this is the gun on the calendar. The other bullet has to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's fair. We did fall into the trap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Van knew their testimony would almost certainly expose the extent of their crimes. It would seem now. That I owe my learned Nippony's friend a word of gratitude. Yeah. What do you mean? What I mean is that you have helpfully confirmed an important fact. To, to what fact do you refer, Lord Van Zeeg? As has been established at the point of their arrest, a single shot had been fired from their, from the brother's gun. However, if that shot found its target in Mr. Sherman's, then clearly, these witnesses cannot be accused of the fatal shooting of the proprietor and victim. Uh. In other words, these two men have no material connection to the murder of Mr. Winderbank at all. Uh, so that's it. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> That was rad as fuck! 
But Fourth also the fact that they day. missed every single every one. single one, except nothing except for the last one. Holy shit! <laughs> I love these chat. You know what? At first, I wasn't convinced. I was just like, yeah, these guys are all right. I'm, I'm coming I'm, around. I'm starting to like these guys. A I'm lot. so sad because I'm pretty sure this sprite is too wide to fit well within the thumbnail uh, format without shrinking them considerably. Wait, but I'll you, look at could it. Could you make the thumbnail? The uh, Nash mm -hmm. on the right hand doing this, and then the next video is Ringo on the left hand <laughs> doing it. that, and then if you put them together, they're doing the high five. Uh, we'll see. We'll see <laughs> if, if it makes sense, maybe. <laughs> That's it. We didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Soapy should them saying, make the thumbnail them kissing. <laughs> They're brothers, <laughs> Soapy. <laughs> Soapy's like, yeah. That's supposed to be an American thing, Soapy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now nah, we're just stepbrothers. <laughs> what are you doing, stepbro? <laughs> I want uh, off this ride. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Uh, also, <laughs> while I'm here, Zoom 1995 followed. Uh, and Logan tipped two dollars, saying they had full color pics back back then, but black and white video in 2016. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and so the real reason the brothers were caught is because they were acting sus. Exactly. You can never, you can never account, uh, accommodate for how, how guilty that makes you look. And Bernie Game Time cheered 10 bits saying, hey, as long as they stole under $900 worth of merchandise, they are fine. Is that true? That, is that uh, I mean, that might be a cutoff in, I mean, some I don't country, think it's like yeah. true everywhere, but that might be a cutoff in, uh, like small claims between, or some shit. Between different types of, uh, Charges. crimes in an oh, area. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, and uh, Logan Anime Guy resubbed for 14 months now, saying if Gregson was actually the third brother, that would be the most insane plot twist ever. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> uh, and he, Malin he, should... He, 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 he turned on the path of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, and Malin... Well, as righteous as being a cop is. Yeah, that's true. So... <laughs> Good point, Fridge. No, he's, he's that... actually the most criminal. He's actually the evil. <laughs> he's actually the evil brother. Uh, and Mail in Chip 3 bits saying, I'm happy that they gave the role of idiotic, incapable comic relief characters to small one offs like these two brothers and not actual side characters like Larry or the Judge. It makes the game so much better. That is a good point. I hadn't thought about that, but yeah. Uh, none yeah, of the main characters say, are don't... horribly incapable. Yeah, there's like hardly any comedic. I mean, Sholmes is comedic relief. True. But true, true. has moments of very serious mm -hmm. bits. Yeah. All right. We did it, Nash. We didn't. That's what I reckon. Your crimes include unlawful entry, intent to steal, perjury, and, let us not forget, attempted murder. For a catalog, I eh, fellas? <laughs> ah. They'd be like, yeah, we didn't kill that one guy, so we're free, right? <laughs> we're in for it now, bro. Now then. Let us take a moment to consider the aforementioned great detective, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. It would seem the man patronized the pawnbrokers in question somewhat regularly. Where's he going with this? Mr. Sholmes appears to take pleasure in tinkering with eccentric machinery. <laughs> God damn it. Eccentric? Says who? Not me. Don't give me that look. He installed a pair of machines like this one in the victim shop. Oh, we're gonna get pictures. Oh. Yeah. That's one of Hervey's red-handed recorders. What is that, Council? It, it has the appearance of a photographic contraption. As your lordship has surmised, it is indeed a camera attached to a small timing device. Every half an hour, it automatically photographs the interior of the establishment. The idea being is that if a thief were to break into the shop, he would be caught red-handed. The prosecution has obtained the photographs taken by the device on the night in question. All the same, and then there's gonna be like a big 
As the court will observe, copious identical prints are produced in quite in, in a quite desultory fashion. Uh, that word never heard that word, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, well, desultory. Hmm. Rather prodigal, I feel. In fact, there are two such devices in the victim's shop, my lord. God damn it, Val says one photo that passes by, you see Freddy Fazbear in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pretty fat ass bear. Right. If I may refer the court to the plan of the premises, their respective positions are here and here. You say these cameras produce a print every half hour? I'm afraid I fail to see how that would help if the anticipated thief conducted his activities in one of the many 30-minute intervals. One can only pray that the would-be criminal lingers, my lord. Hmm. On the night in question, the witnesses currently in the stand were not caught on camera. <laughs> That's a bit of fry tuck, eh, bruv? <laughs> Just them turning with the most like, Just like, yeah! yeah. yeah. Face on is so good to me. What? <laughs> Lady Luck loves a skulking. Witnesses, at what time did your trespassing begin? I uh, must have been just after one, <laughs> right, pal? Must have been, nurse, must have been, yes, it just got one, just got one. In which case, minutes before these brothers enter the establishment. What scene might we expect to see within the shop? Let us examine the evidence. Oh, oh fuck. shit! Damn it, Gina! Gina! Gina. What are you Gina. doing? Gina! Gina! Uh. Also, look at his puppy! Yeah, he does have a little picture He's of a puppy. He's got a picture of his doggo back there. That's so cute. Gina. Good lord! It's, it's the defendant, Miss Gina Lestrade. Yeah, you could have told us you held a gun up next to him. As the court can clearly see. The accused is pictured, gun in hand, facing the victim over the, count, over the shop counter. No doubt coercing the proprietor to open the door to his storeroom. Wait! One can only too easily imagine the events that unfolded. The court will take this photographic print as evidence, if you please, counsel. Okay. Well, that's not good. Uh. I don't believe it. Jenny. In short, the accused is the only person who could possibly have killed Mr. Winderbank. Ugh! I say, my lord. Okay. Well, if I might put a word in at this point. Go ahead, Mr. Foreman. Took a belly bullet to the knee. <laughs> I used to be a soldier. Then I took a belly bullet to the knee in the Battle of Maywound. 1880, don't you know? Death away. Also, he, oh, he like... Yeah, he keeps... Like, he's trying to talk himself up while, like, glancing at the maid. Uh -huh. That's really funny. <laughs> Decorated for it and all that. Well, I'm forced to retire from service, sadly. They said my dick was too big yeah. to serve in the army. <laughs> Couldn't fit in the regulation pants. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. fucking good. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's his name again? Uh, Garadev. John Garadev. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I, we don't know what happened to his wife. Maybe she's in jail and he's like, well, I, I don't know. 
I'm on the market they now. Used to call me Great Girth Garadev <laughs> out on the field. You can't ignore my girth, you see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. God, I haven't seen that in so long. Same shit. It's a good one. Of course, a medal can never outshine the exploits of chaps like us on the battlefield. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Foreman, and what exactly? You, are you getting to a point? <laughs> what exactly is your point? Carried on the battle after retirement, you see, the battle of daily life, if you like. Okay. And here I am now, leading this small squadron. Six men, all good and true. And we'll all go down together, you mark my words. One for all, and all for one. What the fuck are you going on about? Shut <laughs> up. I'm going to need to get sloshed if I'm going to have Literally to shut to this. up. <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen of the jury have reached agreement, have they? Is that what we are to understand? Well, Mr. Foreman, is that correct? In a manner of speaking, yes. That is the Gary Deb Squadron's position, sir. What? No! It's too soon to make a judgment here. Status report for the court, men, on the double. His lordship insists on promptitude at all times, and that goes for making decisions, too. I think you'll find the truth is as clear as day now. I could reach out and touch it. I wouldn't have left it in there. I just wouldn't. But in all honesty, I can't actually remember. This man Defo left a scalpel in somebody's intestine. This man intestine. left a scalpel in someone's yep. body. They're dead. They're going to have such a horrific infection. <laughs> Situation clear. Stop. No room for doubt. Stop. Truth is now undeniable. Stop. I am very sorry for brothers. They are unlucky. <laughs> very well. I now call upon each member of the jury to catapult fire behind me. <laughs> To state his and watch your himself. accuracy. The last <laughs> case in here gave me first degree burns. Why do you think I have to wear a toupee now? <laughs> Announce that your... hasn't singed my hair. I freaking hate this job. <laughs> I don't want this whole place smelling like burnt hair again. Oh. Gross. Announce your considered verdicts to the court. Guilty. Guilty. I forgot that they give them guilty lines for this. Guilty. 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 All right, some nation examination. Nation time. examination time. Time to catch them slipping. It does indeed appear that the jury is unanimous in its leaning already. That photograph. It must be the definitive evidence that Gregson mentioned. Jenny didn't shoot him? No, of course not. Are you guys sure? Yeah. It kind of looks like he was going to shoot him. Honestly, not anymore, Bridge. My lord! <laughs> the defense wishes to assert its right to a summation examination. Again, 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 again. Again. Very well. The court grants permission. So, you refuse to admit defeat again. How unsurprising. Hey, Van Zeeks, all those other times I refused to admit defeat? What happened? What happened? <laughs> we shall proceed immediately with the summation examination. Mr. Foreman, are all members of the jury ready? Absolutely, sir. Always ready for action, my chaps. Very good. Ladies except that what? Except that doctor guy who left a scalpel on someone. He, he does not seem ready for any of this. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty.
Okay. Um, <coughs> literally everybody in the world, oh, this is still, we're just hearing it the first time. I was gonna say, everybody in the world has told me to like press every single one of the first bits, which we probably will do anyways, but apparently they're super fun. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> All the evidence clearly points to the finger of guilt at this young pickpocketeer. As a housemaid, I should like to see all filthy eyesores promptly and rigorously, rigorously eliminated. I think you'll find that if you look at that photograph in stereo, the truth will just pop out! Oh my god, I want to punch this dude so bad. Aw oh man, so bad. If I have left it in there, I should think there'll be repercussions <laughs> by now. Oh my god, they're still doing this bit! Mind made up, stop. Global radio transmission of verdict to follow, stop. Who are you sending this to? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is she sending all the stuff to the forest? Is she the spies? spy? Yeah, she Holy might be a shit. spy. Holy shit. She's doing it out in the open. I know. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. In Motherland, we say never judge by clothes, judge by head. I am convinced brothers are innocent. Excuse me? It'd be really funny if he's not saying it, but the mouse is saying it. I would it. love that. It'd be <laughs> the greatest twist of all time. Hmm. The circumstances of the crime and the evidence do indeed implicate the defendant rather comprehensively. The storeroom locked from the inside is which the, in which the victim and the accused were discovered alone. And in the accused's hand, the fatal revolver, the firing of which was heard by these witnesses. Not to mention this print! Take it from a chap who's seen action on the battlefield. That young girl's on the verge of pulling the bally trigger. Yeah, pretty bad pit trigger this one. Thanks a lot, Mr. Sholmes. You're welcome. Ah, you're here? Oh, dear. Hurley's cameras were supposed to help, not hinder. I'm afraid I think you have an uphill struggle ahead of you. Yeah, but Gina didn't shoot Mr. Winderbank. Yeah, you have no proof of that. Which means there's more to this situation than we've yet to see. Agreed. You have the floor, Council. Proceed with the summation examination. Hmm. Hmm. Time to walk left and right. Oh no. I mean, first things first, absolutely. Oh wait, we're, we're gonna press. Yeah, I do wanna press. Right? Yeah, I do wanna press. Police! You're Mr. Natsume's landlord, Mr. Garadeb, aren't you? You really must stop meeting like this. Ah, you're that lawyer chap. <laughs> There's a turn up for the books. I imagine he's like blowing into the, the pipe and like bubbles are coming up. Yeah. Yes, rather a turbulent time we had back then. Some extraordinary events took place at your house, that's for sure. Luckily, Mr. Sholmes and I were able to get to the bottom of it all. I think we did a rather, we did rather a lot for you, didn't we? You should say that. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be suggesting that therefore you should change your wow. leaning to not guilty or anything. Wow. wow. <laughs> Ryan, what are you more unethical than me? Wait, is he gonna do it? No way. That would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Can't be denied, I suppose. The curse of the Gary Deb house was the talk of the town after that business. Lodgers moved out and I couldn't get a barely sold to take up the tenancies. Oh. I haven't had the heart to break the news to Jenny yet. Bad enough that the old girl's clapped up. Oh, so she did get arrested. Yeah, Shit. she's in jail. Fuck. So actually we made things worse. Yeah. Yes, can't be denied. You did do rather a lot. But not for us. That's for dash it's certain. I suppose not. Of course. There can be no suggestion of that being the reason I'm leaning towards guilty here, obviously. <laughs> obviously. But honestly, 
I really wish you'd pay more attention to the trial and less to Joa number two. Adam. <laughs> I feel like she's got nothing to say, but we'll, we'll check it out. Just like this year. Polishing the bench, I see. Again. A maid's work is never done. Not a blemish must remain. Um, what exactly do you mean by filthy eyesores? On my way to market for his lordship, I have to pass through the East End. Oh no. The place is full of beggars, pig purses, and crossmen. The scum of the earth. A little harsh, perhaps. Let me be plain. If it were up to me, all those back slums would be made spick and span, or eradicated. At least we have people like the great detective working to achieve those important goals. You're referring to Mr. Herlock Sholmes? That's right. I like to keep abreast of his exploits by reading Rand's magazine in between my duties. He does wonders cleaning up London streets. In my opinion, he should be declared an honorary maid of the capital. Mr. Sholmes? A maid? Oh, get that out of your head, Rena. Really nice <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite unforgivable. Gutter scum having the audacity to shoot our very greatest detective. Okay, now you're at least a classist. Minor detail, it was the two brothers in the stand who shot Mr. Sholmes, not the defendant. A minor detail indeed. They're all gutter scum as far as I'm concerned. Well... Oh, you suck, lady. It I might, wanted to like you, but you suck. It might be an idea to get our facts straight anyway. Yes, all right. I shall amend my statement. Oh, okay, that was well, we actually needed. Brothers of the Scum of the Earth, they should swing for shooting the great detective. This lady is crazy. Damn. They <laughs> killed them all. Yeah. Okay. Hold it! What do you mean, look at the photograph and s Yeah, I sh should do it for that one. Yeah. What do you mean, look at this photograph! In stereo, not mono. Sorry, what? Don't, don't you know? If you look at the photographic print normally... It looks as though the pickpocket girl is about to shoot the victim, obviously. Objection! But there's no indication that the defendant ever fired the gun. All I'm saying is that if you look at the same print in stereo, it could reveal all sorts of new information. Hmm. By any chance, are you a fan of stereoscopes? Is it like your whole personality? Oh. Is that your single? Is that your singular gimmick? Oh, how did you know? Let's how did I call know it indeed? a lucky guess. It never gets old seeing the two prints merge into one before your eyes. It never gets old hearing people tell us about it either. It's extraordinary. It's captivating. It's the height of modernity. I love that the... Uh, like, they genuinely have steam-powered things, and this dude is like, No, the height of technology, it's two pictures next to each other. You're crossing your eyes. You're crossing your eyes and looking at two pictures. Of course. It's unreal. So, I bet the other... Because the other camera probably took a photo at the same time. Yeah, we're gonna. Have and there's to look gonna at be it. something in it that's gonna They're prove gonna she's not to... gonna shoot him. Yeah. Yeah. There's gonna be a, it's gonna be an angled thing. It doesn't. It's not gonna look like she's aiming at him or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, I think you'll find that the stereoscope is here to stay, giving us new perspectives we could only dream of before. It's the greatest invention the world has ever seen. If only it could give me a new perspective on this case. I might agree with you. Poor right, I'm so excited to hear what's, what this dude has to say. What's going on? What's what's going on? Yeah. What, what, what surgical instrument did you leave in a human body? <laughs> um, what exactly have you been muttering about all this time, sir? You keep talking about having left something somewhere, something like that. Uh, so sorry, as you can probably tell, I'm a surgeon. Jesus Christ. A surgeon? That totally passed me by. Of course, people conducting surgery in this country aren't considered to be doctors. Oh, no. That's true. Even though me and my kind are at the forefront of medical science, the real brains in the field. So, what is it you think that you've left behind? 
Ah, well, that's a little embarrassing, to be honest. You see, I was operating on someone yesterday. Standard thing went in through the abdomen. But when I'd finished the procedure, I... Well, I couldn't find my scalpel anywhere. The fact that it was exactly the scalpel is mind-blowing. Yeah, I mean, Holy it's... I mean, one of the most, I mean, it'd be like one of the most common things, like that, or the four steps, or... Y'all fucking called it. Yeah, holy shit. What? Did he... Surely not. Exactly. Surely not, you say to yourself, don't you? Worrying, isn't it? And that's what's been troubling me this whole time. Could I really have left my scalpel inside the fella's belly? No, of course I couldn't. Am I going to have to defend you in the next case? Uh, we don't do medical yeah. malpractice. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is not our field. No, it's out of our pay grade. So this guy, if this guy's gonna go down for it, he's going down for it. Yeah. Like I said, a little embarrassing, really. That's a little medical malpractice. -y. That's one way of putting it. The other was manslaughter. <laughs> That's exactly my concern. And then seeing as this case appears to be all but sewn up, well, I need to focus on trying to remember exactly what I've sewn up elsewhere. Now, I'm sure I made sure everything was back as it should be. Well, as sure as you can be without being sure. I'm sure you need to be more sure. Okay, great. That's we're just not gonna worry about that. Right? No, yeah, he's, he gave us nothing. Hold it. All right, uh, I could talk to you for hours, but sorry, radio transmission. What do you mean? Are you from the far east? Stop. I, I, I'm not speaking. Um, yes, from the Empire of Japan. All communication with far eastern nations used to take place by mail. Royal mail steamers take more than a month to complete the journey. Ah, but now we have the electric telegram, so we can send messages using ele electrical signals. Thousands of miles of cables have been laid along the ocean beds, connecting the entire world. Thousands of miles of cable? On the ocean bed? It makes my head hurt just thinking about it. You know what, I guess I never realized that's how telegrams work. Yeah. That there's just miles of cables under the ocean. I mean, even now, like, there still is. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. That's bonkers mm -hmm. you are well informed young lady i mean how do you think they, they they started the internet all the tubes they had to put down there yeah it's true al gore did it personally uh-huh <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> we got another we got a fridge. but cables will soon become a thing of the past stop and just when i thought i was starting to catch up Radio transmission is the future. Stop. Messages carried over airwaves to four corners of the globe. Stop. She do that to me. Excitement growing. Stop. Atmosphere electric. Stop. Right. Try not to wear out your fingers. Because you're going to need them later. Error of wireless telegraphy. Stop. I think she's the real baddie. Driving technological revolution. Stop. And people say invention like the stereoscope of the height of technology. What utter piffle. Uh-oh. <laughs> Conflict. I can't understand it. I really can't. They're just silly toys. Oh, he's so oh, pissed. Shit. Oh, shit. He's so pissed. Oh, oh, no. Triggered. Um, Joey number three. Sorry to interrupt when you're obviously fuming, but... What? He's fuming, mate. Do you perhaps have something to say about Joe Number Five's last remark? As if I couldn't guess. Oh, you bet I do. Say that again. Go on. I dare you. Goodness, are you talking to me? I think he might just be. Yes. You think stereoscopes are just toys, do you? Huh? Absolutely. I mean, really. A machine to view photographs in three dimensions. Why on earth would you not just use your eyes to look at the world around you? It's all three dimensional. What a great way to appease the man. No, I'm sorry. The stereoscopes are of no practical use at all. 
How many shots did you say were left in that gun? <laughs> you just don't know. Pardon? I think you'll find that viewing a photograph through a stereoscope can unlock all sorts of possibilities. I'm obviously going to have to demonstrate. Please, Christ, no. I regret this. I regret it. <sighs> what sort of possibilities? Well, uh, take a crime scene, for example. Wait, now, this, this might be exactly what we needed yeah, to do. Yeah, I think this is exactly what needs to I happen. This is exactly how we're going to get the uh, stereoscopes of the crime of the Gina picture. Right, warm up your eyes. I'm furious that we have to do this again. <laughs> Start crossing your eyes. <laughs> Get a pair of photographs from a crime scene that you could view through a stereoscope. I can reveal hidden clues you never even noticed before. You'd see the Illuminati. What? You got any, Bruno? Any prints we could look at with a stereoscope? Well, like, we don't uh, have two apart from the one we've already done. Wait, go in the court record. Just got that one. Yeah, we can't even flip it. It's just magnifying shit. But they said that there was two cameras, so clearly there's a second picture. Yeah, maybe we get that information from something else. On the grassy knoll. I mean, should we say that? Well, what's as I as we have? Do you have any prints we could look at with the stereoscope? I feel. I mean, we have one. Yeah. Just is it gonna it, penalize it, if we just is it gonna penalize if we just bring up this one? I don't think we're gonna get penalized, so I'll just say yeah. How about this print here? That should do the trick, I think. Okay. No, whoops, I have to... Take that! <laughs> Alright then, Jimmer number three. Are you saying that you can do this with any two so any two suitable photographic prints? Because I only have one. <laughs> Of course I can. Very well then. I'd like you to demonstrate. Yeah. I'd be delighted to. Okay, Just give yeah. me one more print and I'll amaze you all. Uh, sorry, can we back out? That's my bad. Uh, uh, how about I just give you the same one again? Yeah. Uh, uh go to the go to the uh, the blood samples. Look at the second one. No, oh, I thought the second one was something. No. Uh, well, we sure can't go back from here, so let's present a dumb Take thing. That. Wait, sorry. What do you mean, one more print? Oh dear, oh dear. Don't you have these in the Far East? Don't you know about staring? Don't you know how a stereoscope works? Bruno. You fucking idiot. What? You, you need, need two photographs for a stereoscope, remember? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we you got... You know, one for the left eye, one for the right. Oh. Oh, yes. I remember now. But the print we have from the pawnbroker is just a normal photograph. No, no, no. I think you'll find that the clue is in the name. It's a stereoscope, not a monoscope. You always need two prints. Thanks for the friendly explanation. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <sighs> well, if we obtain another print at some point later in the trial, we can always show it to this young man then. <laughs> I think you'll find... That know-it-all expression is really starting to annoy me. Let's get things back on track, shall we, Council? Okay. I wonder if they want us to do the cat thing with him, but that seems dumb right now. Uh, Alright, pressing on. Final one. Hold it! Please! <laughs> Wow! Wow! I'm glad we remember. Yeah, that's hilarious. Please, no hesitation. Please tell me you're not villain Bolshevik, the Russian revolutionary. Revolutionary? Ah, I believe there is such a rumor. It's just, it's 
Just a rumor? As you see, I have unfortunate appearance. I look like wishes criminal. Your words, not mine. Just want to point that out. People call me revolutionary, murderer, autocrat. And which glove fits? <laughs> All of them. Good day. I am visiting London for sightseeing. I would like to take bus to Crystal Tower, please. So that's... That's uh, all three, or...? Right. That didn't sound staged at all. You'll forgive me for having my doubts. To be treated like vicious criminal all the time, it is very painful. People do not realize. So I have much sympathies for these brothers. People say they are criminals only because of how they look. The Skulkin brothers? Duh. Maybe they went inside pawnbroker's shop, but they have nothing... But they have done nothing wrong. That is all I want to say. But they did openly admit to shooting a guy. That is all what I want to say. The oh, are we supposed to pair that one with the maid, saying they should be hung? Skulkin Brothers a contradiction, did nothing though. wrong that night. I mean, it's not like a contradiction, but it's two people fighting. Jurors that yeah. disagree. Yeah. I mean, it is a contradiction, but it's more like it's just a way to two opinions contradict. Yeah. Well, all right. One well, opinion and one more fact. Well, first of all, <laughs> well, one opinion, one absolute fact. <laughs> that's one not so little misunderstanding. I'll need to clear up straight away. Tell me something, Iris. What is it, Runo? The jurors are chosen at random from the inhabitants of London Town, aren't they? Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? No. I mean, I guess it's amazing how the same six people have been selected again. Uh -huh. but in that case, how is it that there's a Russian tourist sitting among them who looks for all the world like a revolutionary? <laughs> ah! I wish I knew. Okay. I can't change the minds of more than half of these six jurors. The trial will be over. But we know that Jimmy would ever shoot anyone. Yes. So we need to find contradictions in what these jurors are saying and pit them against each other. I must be ready to go to whatever lengths I have to, to convince them of Gina's innocence. Uh, uh, I Pit. Oh. Uh, pit them and them. They're innocent. I mean, that's the only thing I've got so far yeah. until... I mean, unless we want to do five and three about stereoscopes, but I don't think that's where we want to be right now. He's shot from a different angle. <clears throat> I do think somebody was saying earlier, like, we need to uh, press them. Press three again, and he'll give us the second picture or some shit. But we'll do this for now. Objection! Got him. These two statements clearly contradict each other. Not about anything relevant to the case. Yeah, mind you. I know. Good lord, can't I explain yourself? Oh my, my statement contradictory. Contradict. Con. German number six, you've got the wrong end of the stick. I do not have stick. I have mouse. Okay. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. As Joe number two said earlier, when the Skulkin brothers fled the scene on the night in question, they fired a shot from their revolver. Yes, they shot poor Mr. Sholmes in the abdomen, I understand. Surely you're not going to tell the court now that you didn't hear. Abdomen. Sir? Sorry, sorry. My English is, is still learning. Really shouldn't be a jerk. You are telling the court you didn't hear. Forgive me. I did not hear. <laughs> ah, here is word. Abdomen. Part of person's body containing stomach and other vital organs. If this is what you mean, 
You should say in plain English. I am Russian, not native speaker. <sighs> Who thought it was a good idea to let this man be on the jury again? So, you are telling me these brothers who look like criminals were lying? Do you mean to say they are in fact criminals? <laughs> you said criminals are criminals. They said before we never done nothing, but truth is, they shot detective. Da, this is double negative. <laughs> I wish I could move this thing to see what the mouse's the mouse face is, is doing, doing right now. Because it's so cute. Yes! That's exactly right! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Maybe he is a bad guy! What the fuck? <laughs> Don't squeeze the mouse! <laughs> Now, that, I don't want this to happen, but it made me think if it was like one of those squeezy toys yeah. and the mouse's eyes are like... <laughs> Lying is wrong, especially when lie is said by a person who look like criminal. Coming from you, that seems surprisingly prejudiced. <laughs> you fit right in. This means when they said we never took nothing, maybe it was also big fat lie. Is this true? Well, according to the police reports, no stolen goods were found, so... Oh! Enough! I trust no one now. It's not the mouse's <laughs> fault, though, sir. I must see with own eyes. I, I must investigate crime scene myself. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't be pos... Yes, it is, Rudo. Easily. What? Sorry? I invented virtual reality. <laughs> With the prints oh. from Hurley's red-handed recorder. Okay, like sure. Ah. <laughs> if you compare that print if you compare the print that pictures Ginny and the next print from half an hour later, oh. you'll be able to see straight away if anything was taken or not. Okay, yeah, give us another picture. What? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Do we? Tut, Do we? Tut. Calling on the prosecution in the middle of a summation examination of all times. Do we? Do we? <laughs> the print showing the accused threatening the victim after she broke into the shop is this one. Following this, the victim and the accused moved into the storeroom. This is going to be a, a spot the difference pictures. I love these puzzles. Meanwhile, the Skalkin brothers entered the shop and summarily heard the fatal gunshot ring out. Sadly, none of these events were captured on film. This is the print preceded by the camera half an hour later after the brothers' flight. Yes, give it, give it, give it. Okay, Give it the picture. lamp is broken. Give it the picture. So this was taken after Hurley was shot then. As far as I can tell, nothing has been taken. That does seem to be the case. Do it. I can't notice anything that's obviously missing in the second print. Do it. Give us the picture. So, the brothers who look like criminals told only one lie. They shot men, but they stole nothing. In my country, this is okay. <laughs> it would seem so, yes. Good. No, not good! <laughs> you were right. I did not understand, understood situation. Now I know brothers have lied. I think it is very important to continue with trial. Oh, great. That okay, that easy. worked somehow. Yeah. We got one. Yay.